Next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some titles and graphics because I, I love graphic design and I feel like titles and graphics can really add a lot of polish and make your video look fancy. And y'all, we wanna make fancy videos. And so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to, we're gonna go grab a panel that's gonna let us add titles and graphics, all right? So we're gonna go to the window menu and let's go to the essential graphics panel. That's the one you're gonna pick, essential graphics. Um, by the way, when you set up a workspace, Premiere is gonna remember, okay, this is the way I want the assembly workspace set up every time. So you could have all these panels up if you wanted um, and get them arranged how you want. It's gonna remember that. Okay, so in this essential graphics panel, let's talk about what's going on here. We've got a couple tabs right here. All right, so we've got a browse tab and an edit tab. The browse tab is where we're gonna find new and exciting things to add to our timeline. We're gonna find templates that we can customize all right so i've got a bunch of templates here these are my templates these are the templates that i use again and again in my pro projects over here if you click on adobe stock we can go find new templates and download them from adobe stock collection the the titles the templates that you find over in the browse tab most of the time are something they're motion graphic templates um, and that's cool <laughs> because motion graphics look super fancy and you don't have to have motion graphic skills to add these motion graphic templates to your projects. Uh, and then you'll just edit a few settings and it's gonna look like you have all these fire skills, right? Um, you'll also often hear these called Mogurts for short. Okay, so if you hear in your, somebody say Mogurt and you're like, what is that? It's a motion graphic template. So let's add a motion graphic template to our timeline. We're gonna go over to Adobe Stock and then we're gonna click this free box right here. Everybody loves a free box, right? <laughs> then I want you to search for Retro I found a Mogurt that I liked earlier. And if you don't see it, this is the one I like, Retro Media UI Window Title. You can type in that title. All right, now to add this to our timeline, you know, we wanna insert it here, remember? And the way we insert is we can press the comma key, but I don't think that works with, with this, this panel. Let's try it. Nope, okay. So um, the other way we insert is by holding down the Command key or the control key, depending on if you're on Mac or, or Windows, you're gonna hold that key down, command if you're on Mac, control if you're on Windows, and then you're gonna keep holding it down while you drag, and then that's gonna let us insert. And it's gonna shift everything down. This might take a minute, because remember, we're, we're dealing with a fancy template here, okay? So we need to let Premiere load all that fanciness. Now, I'm gonna just scrub through this, and you'll see, look at this. Look at this animation, y'all. <laughs> we look so talented. Um, but all we have to do is just fill in the gaps here. So to edit this template, you're gonna click it on your timeline. And then as soon as you click it, you're gonna see we have jumped over in Essential Graphics to the Edit tab, where we've got all these settings that we can edit. Now these settings, whichever edit settings show up here, it's all gonna depend on your particular template. The Mogurts that you'll download from Adobe Stock are part of a marketplace, um, and then you know, there's individual creators that are creating these and however many settings they wanna give you, that's what you're gonna get. In this case, we've got a ton of settings, which I love, uh, cause you know, I wanna be able to control the situation. Okay, so first, why don't we change, uh, well, let's change this image here. Our cat's disappeared, all right? So let's change the image. So we're gonna go over here in the settings and we're gonna to go to media replacement cause we're gonna replace that media and let's replace the window media. You'll see we've got a placeholder here in order to replace what's in that placeholder, we're just gonna drag and drop. So we're gonna go over here to this last clip in Final Shots, okay? This last clip is called Mogurt Media. You're gonna grab that, clip number seven, and you're just gonna drag it over to that placeholder and bam. Now our video is there. Beautiful, okay. Now at the top here, you'll notice there's a title. It says, who is this? Which is really weird, we don't want it to say that. So we're gonna go back over to Essential Graphics. We're gonna to go to our text controls. You know, you don't have to remember all this. All these are different for every template, right? And so we're just gonna, you're gonna to have to kind of figure it out every time, but it should be. Depends on how organized the creator was. We're just gonna say grip wall hangers because that's the name of this section, right? We could change things if we wanted. Um, and now you'll see up here in the program panel, bam, it's been repopulated. <laughs>